Okay, this video is to show all those how to use the Family Search indexing program. So first thing you do is click on the desktop item after you've downloaded the program. Click on the icon on your desktop. It should be brown with a tree. It should come up a page like this. And there you just type your username and your password. The first time you log on, it usually takes a while as it has to get all your data to upload it. Then after that, it sh should be fine. So down in the corner, we see that it's loaded now. And in the corner, now you can see it says online. You can also choose to work offline, which if you download batches, you can work offline, so you don't need Wi-Fi connection or anything. These batches in red here are batches which I previously downloaded and which are due to expire in a couple of days, so they have to be indexed and sent away as soon as possible, really. That's just all that's to let you know. On the right hand corner at the bottom you have my goal so you can set a goal. So if we click set goal and it comes up it'll come up with dates. You just choose the date how many names you want to and how many records you want to index. Your starting date and your ending date. Number of records and then just click OK. Also will give you a history, which is your points. You get points for all the batches you do. Um, there I have 13,579 points. That is not the number of batches I've done. Though. And some links to questions or some more information about the indexing program. Down the bottom on the left hand corner we have, it tells us the amount of names are um, indexed. So the camera is not very clear but it says 7731 so every time you index names it will come up and it will automatically change. Also in this space here from time to time you receive messages from indexing about updates of the program. You just read the messages, you can delete them as you see there's no messages in that now. So the first thing we do is we need to download a batch, so we click on download batch in the top left hand corner there and it usually takes a while sometimes to get all the data from the batches there's also here to work on a batch, to submit a batch and to return a batch if can't read it or you find it too difficult for you, just return the batch. Also double clicking lets you work on the batch which makes it a lot faster. It's just take my while there to open this bit. Okay, so it'll come up and it'll come up with the preferred projects for are needing to be indexed pretty soon. And there's usually only a couple in there. Or and then if you click all projects, it'll come up with all the projects and it gives you the name, the description, the level and the points. There are three levels beginner, intermediate and advanced. For the different levels you get one point, three points or five points. <coughs> It uh, also tells you what language they're in, so if you speak French or Spanish, as you can see there, you can do some French and Spanish ones. You can do them anyway, I'm sure you'd still be able to read them. 
So if we go down to the UK now, I believe there isn't a lot of UK ones left. Um, this is Bristol and Paris Records, and it is intermediate, so it's five. We'll take a look at it. We can view a sample there, so the sample's not available. So if we just click OK, see what it, see what it's like. Some batches may already have been indexed by other indexers beforehand, and they might have given them back. So some of the batches you get could well be half indexed and save you a lot of work, to be honest. Shouldn't take too long. Not too sure why it's running really slow today. have here is burials and up the top it tells you some information and it also tells you the year so it's nine nine hundred and six so it's nineteen nineteen oh six so we're seeing years so on the left hand is where you I like the information and it says image type and that's a field which is required to be filled down and if you click on image type it gives you some options it says normal, blank, duplicate, non-extractable and unreadable this as we can see can be read it looks ok there's stuff there there's extractable data on it so we click normal we then click on form entry and it'll ask us for a record type. Now we read up the top it was a burial. So if we type in burial and then it just asks you for your gen the gender of person. Now if we go along it doesn't seem to have a gender. Um, but from the looks of things it's female so you can either, it's your own choice, you can either put female in or you can not put anything in. Just type F for female and M for male. Underneath that I show the date. So here's the date over here. So that says September the 18th 1906. So the date for the month would be September and you just type the first three letters in. And then the day would be the 18th and then 1906. Now those, all the fields with stars on them at the side there, they are required to be filled out. And if you, if the, that information is not there, all you have to do is press Control and B, and then that will just put it down as blank. So the next one's asking for the name. So here's the name up here. So just for quickness, I'll not type that in, but you type in the name. And then once you type in all the information, the very last thing here says deceased mother mother's surname. So after you've typed that in, and if you look at the image here, you go to the side, if you go down, you can see there's more names. And it goes on, there should be eight names on a page for burials. So what we want to do is click this button here, which will add a new record and then you type burial in again and you start with the next name and you continue like that
keep adding records so you add about eight records until you've wrote all the names. But then down the side where it says image, we have image number one, image number two and image number three. So that's just three different images on that one record that you're indexing. So all you need to do is the exact same thing. And then once you're finished with that, you click submit the wee green tick. You click that. And it says quality checker will now review data prior to submitting. Just click OK. All that's saying there is that um, it's just going to check that what you put is what you want. I know because I've not typed these in it's saying they're blank so you just have to click accept until but obviously yours won't be blank once you do it and then it'll come up saying to you do you want to submit data and you just click OK and then after you've submitted your data it will come up saying uploading data like that and then it should take you back to your home page to where you may have other records or you have to start a new record. That's the simple way. There's also when you're downloading a batch in the left hand corner there's a number and you can download up to 10 batches at any one time. So you, um, so you can't download any more than that but 10 batches at any one time. And like I said, if something's too hard, you just click return. And if your something's on the screen, just click submit or work on batch. That's the simple way of to start indexing. There's also tutorial videos on the indexing links in the right hand corner. And if anybody else has any more questions, just comment and I will be sure to make another video and let you know how and let you know the answers to your questions. I hope this has helped you.